What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Planet Coaster. Woohoo! Alright, I added some background music into my videos to make it more profesh. Now this is the park that is all lit up now. I did it off camera, I think. <laughs> I don't know, it's been a long time. Also check out my Among Us video that I posted. And we're gonna be building a coaster today. I also did some off-camera scenery on that last coaster, the dueling coaster. So that's well and done. I'm gonna have a coaster, kind of like Hagrid's, Mo Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm gonna have a coaster like that, which is like a bike coaster. And also, if you didn't know, I love Harry Potter. So yeah. And I'm gonna have it like a bike. They have a police bike and a race car bike. I mean, a race bike race. I mean, a race bike, okay. Wow, my tongue is twisted today. They also have like, I chose the police bike for this one. I didn't have any idea what I was gonna choose between them, but you know, I just chose the police one because I haven't done it in a long time. Last time I did it was like two years ago in 2019. I mean, 2019 is when I got the game, so I don't know. Like, it was a long time ago. So, over here we're having a launch into this big banked hill curve. That's what I'm trying to do. And then we'll see from there but maybe like have some kind of twisting, tangling kind of layout low to the ground, just like all super good launch coasters. I put the launch at 50 miles an hour, which is not much, well, it's a lot for some kind, for a junior coaster. So it's an intermediate coaster. It doesn't go like 55 and up, because that's when that's when it's a senior coaster, like Seal Vengeance, that's a senior, or Maverick at Cedar Point, uh, or, or, uh, what's that name? Well, there's also Superman at Six Flags New England, so there's a lot of senior coasters, and there's also, I think Manta is a senior coaster, not, it's not really an intermediate coaster. Anyway, we're diving under the launch track, which is always cool, but every single time I do it, I <laughs> I put the track too high, that's like near to the launch track. So, um, I don't know about this time, but hopefully. <laughs> we're gonna continue that turn into, and we're trying to straighten it out a bit, or at least curve in the other direction because we have been going the same direction for a while. So you never want, you never want like a circle of a coaster or something like that. So we're turning the other way underneath this piece of track. I'm gonna have a, a tiny ejector airtime hills. Yeah. You can see that coaster going along. And I named this the Red Police because it is a police bike. And, um, <laughs> sorry, errors. But I'm not the best at video editing. I did my best, but I am not the greatest. But, all right. This is gonna be the Red Police because police is main, the police main color is like green or blue. So, I thought it would be nice for a change if I had it red. So, this whole ride's gonna be called the Red Police. Now we're gonna fit an airtime hill in with, so, with some good airtime, not just ejector airtime. So this is technically our first airtime hill of this coaster. Next, we're gonna do a dive into a tunnel underground. This should like get it so much speed it should be equal to at the start because, you know, friction. And as you can see the coaster coming along, it's not too long, that underground part, but it's long enough to make you scared enough, you know? 
All right, we're gonna switch the other way again. This is also kind of Maverick-like at Cedar Point, if you know that coaster. It's gonna be kind of Maverick, but it isn't the exact same type of coaster. The, right there, I realized that I couldn't go over, so I'm going under. And we're gonna have a super high altitude banked curve all the way around up till here. And we're gonna have like so, it, the track so flat that the wheels barely touch the grass. That's how flat it is. Now I'm working on the ending bit, ending portion of it, because autocomplete, oh, I mean, <laughs> you don't get any breaks in, or you don't get any good breaks in if you just autocomplete and then add the breaks. So I did. I add the brakes first, and then I auto-complete it. But in this case, I was so close to it, I didn't have to. So, next I'm like trying to make the car shorter, so it's a bit more fun for the people in the backs, because they feel like the people in the middle, that's why it's not too much airtime, you know? Like, if you sit in the back of a roller coaster, you get so much airtime, and like so much drag time, and you're like really fast actually. All right, so this is my first test of the coaster, full coaster. This is like sped up five times speed, no, 4.5 times the speed. So you can see that tunnel bit and then like under here, I failed that. Good thing I didn't fail that launch bit. That was, that was like flawless. You can see the other coaster in the background. Right there. And there's like handlebars. All right, those are the ratings. All of these coasters don't have to be green ratings. That's for some other YouTuber to do. They are very, Planet Coaster is an unrealistic game engine. Only some of the things are realistic, like the trees or the types of coasters, or you know, that kind of stuff. But like, the ratings, I just don't get, like, if you have too much air time, like, if you drop from the highest point in the map, and then you get, like, and then you have, like, so many bunny hills, like, that, that, that is sure to get you, like, so, like, such a bad rating, but, anyway, I got, anyway, what? we're doing now is making the station outskirts um which we've done on the first coaster i don't think we've done done it on the second and third coaster that we've done this is the fourth coaster by the way and um so we're doing it now i want to have like this firefighter vibe like i totally forgot about the police thing so i wanted to have this like firefighter red brick station house because Red Police is basically a firefighter, except wi without all that water. <laughs> so. Now, I want to have it two meters higher than it should be, because I want to have a tall roof, like a tall one. But not too tall. That makes it like a noob's Minecraft house. That would just be weird. Anyway. I'm just wrapping this around. I put those shop fronts as windows because I didn't want to put actual windows where you couldn't look out of them. So I just put nothing there. I know it's very unsafe of me, but look at this game. You can run into tracks. You can go through the ground without getting hurt or something. This game is very unrealistic. All right, now we're gonna do the steel roof, which is turning out uh, which is turning out okay. I mean, I do have to manually like shift them down. If you see my tutorial, like you don't usually have to do that. You can like just duplicate it. Maybe I didn't say that in the tutorial, but maybe I did. I don't know, it was a long time ago. Um, such. So, <laughs> For this roof, you have to shift down like every single time. It's so annoying. 
For here, I'm just trying to find out the right um, curve or slant. It looks very off balance, like it's not in the middle, but actually is the best middle I can do. Or over here, I'm trying to have this brick like over thing. That's in a lot of like station bays and like a lot of buildings. So I'm trying to have this vibe that goes like across like pipes. You probably seen it in like a big room or something. Now I'm just connecting them. I kind of just put them randomly like on the two squares. So some of them are a bit disaligned, but we'll see that, huh? Who do you think will look up and see, oh, they're disaligned? No one will tell you. And besides, people don't look anywhere. When I first opened this right up, foreshadowing, um, when I first opened this right up, like, literally no one came. Like, they didn't even bother to look over here. I sped it up, like, so fast. They didn't come. No way. They weren't coming. They were just staying. Over here, I'm trying to make a lake because this is very, like, a very open space. And I think a little lake would be nice. Then I put, accidentally put dirty water <laughs> and I'm trying to change it. But then I eventually fixed it and it looks a lot nicer. And now I'm trying to have sand on the outside. You can see that. So, yeah, that's on a lot of um, lakes and oceans, so. Now I'm gonna try to light the coaster because I don't wanna have to go back and light it. And this episode would be done so early if that happened. So good thing I put lighting in. So the red police, obviously red lights, right? I'm just lighting all the coaster. You know, it's a pretty boring process to watch, but you know, like going on every pool and like just sticking a light there. It's a boring process to watch. As you can see, I have three trains because I have five carts in each train, so. This station bay can like hold 16 carts, so I, I decided to go three. That tunnel bay, you could see that. I'm going to light that. I'm going to light all of this. And then I realized, oh wait. Oh, there you go. We have blue lights, yay. Then I realized like when I was like putting the last of the red lights, <laughs> red lights. When I put in the last of the red lights, I noticed that at the, I like remembered at the start of the vi video, the dragon coaster, the first coaster, that had red lights as well. So I wanted to make it a bit different by adding blue lights to indicate that it's actually the police. It's not a knockoff or something that has red lights everywhere. It has blue and red lights. I'm just covering this lake in blue lights just because a lake is blue, water is blue, maybe sand is yellow, but it's all blue. Now I'm just like finishing up lighting all this, you know, and then I just, and then I saw that how empty the front was like, and then I thought I would do like a siren thing with red and blue lights. Then I saw that it's too dark. It needs to be a little lighter. And there's also these floodlights, which illuminate things a bit more. It, but like, as you can see in the path, you can see in the path, oh. All right. As you can see in the path, it was like lighting it up, but nothing else was lighting it up. All right. Welcome to the POV. All right. I'm gonna stay quiet for this one and let you guys enjoy it. And I guess I'll see you in episode six. All right. Bye.
。